So let me give you an example that shows a bit about how research goes to the organization. About two years ago, we introduced a novel two-handed drawing technique, which we called electronic tape drawing, which was derived from how automotive stylists drew with photography tape on large walls to get one-to-one -one scale drawings. Now what they did is they st stretched the tape with one hand, in this case analogous to my right hand, and then stuck it down by pushing with their left hand, just like I'm doing here. So the black you're seeing, is me sticking the tape to the wall. And so I'm gonna draw a really bad car profile. And you notice my right hand controls the tan tangency of the line that I'm drawing. And I can draw a smooth straight line or a curve. I'll just make this like a coupe, like an old 1940 Ford. And there's my profile. Now, this is traditionally a 2D technique, albeit two-handed. Now what I want to show you is how one of our research students, Tovi Grossman, has taken this technique and not only built it into a larger application, but a 3D application at that. So here we have Tovi about the drive. And so what we're going to do is take this simple profile curve and turn it into a very simple 3D uh, car. So Tovi, where you go. So the first thing we're going to do is turn it into 3D. So using a marking menu, we see that what we drew was one plane in a 3D space. Now he can pull the plane out so he can do a second profile curve parallel to the last one and again he'll draw it in 2D. And when he's doing so he has the original curve that I drew um, as a reference marker. So now he's drawing the second profile curve using the tape drawing technique. Now when we're done we can move back into the 3D view see the two curves, rotate around in 3D space, see it really is 3D, and notice we've got, we can use reflection maps. Now we can actually use the other planes, so let's do the ground plane to draw the platform of the vehicle. And again, we select the plane, place the plane at where we want the profile to occur, and then once we've done that, we go into a two-dimensional view that lets us draw. And you'll notice that in fact the points where our previous profiles intersect the plane are clearly marked on the screen to give him reference points. You'll also notice that we, since the cars are symmetrical, that his profile of the ground plane is mapped symmetrically on either side. So again, we can see this version of this fairly streamlined vehicle in 3D. Now we've got plane, two different planes, orthogonal planes, uh, with, with geometry. And now we can actually do the front view so that we can add the third plane. And it's obvious how this extends up so we can add profile after profile from different perspective to further refine the geometry of the vehicle. But again, as we move along here, you'll see that he's got the symmetry reflected, so he only has to draw one half on the symmetrical parts of the vehicle, and he's got markers on the plane that give him reference points as to where previously drawn profiles intersect this particular plane. So once he's done, you now have a fairly good sense of the 3D geometry that's building up. Now one thing we can do in this technique is we can add markers to give you specific views. So for example, if you're going to add an annotation or you want somebody to see the car from a particular perspective, you can just click on the handle and it brings you to that particular viewpoint. And finally, just to close, we can also click and bring the whole thing into an ortho projection so we see the perspective view plus the, the, the ortho projections from the three principal planes of the geometry. Now what we've done is a very, very simple vehicle, but what it represents is a very different way of working with computer graphics and a way which we hope will lead to simpler ways to design complex three-dimensional objects using traditional and existing drawing skills.